Hey guys, welcome back to another show. I'm your host, Roxy. I'm wearing Showstopper by Raquel Welch, and it's no wonder they call her Showstopper. I mean, look at this, you guys. Super dense, really lightweight, monofilament top, sheer indulgence lace front. Let me just show you guys because it's almost so undetectable. You would think that this is my actual hair. Can you guys see that? And the lace front just blends in beautifully with my skin tone because it's so short and so thin. Some other manufacturers will have a little bit longer lace and those I tend to have to put like makeup on to just have it blended. But this one right out of the box, you guys, look at her. Okay, let me show you a little bit of the side so you can kind of see the length. And it's really nice too because Raquel Welch has done such a wonderful job with her true to life heat friendly fibers. So I'm going to show you a little bit later on the show, something I've never done on live camera before, but we're going to do it today and I'm going to show you how to curl a true to life heat friendly synthetic fiber. So, but before I do, let's talk about this color, you guys. It is a gorgeous color and I'm wearing the rooted one. It's called RL829SS. It's a shaded hazelnut. If you can see those warm medium brown, evenly blended with ginger highlights and a dark brown root. Can you guys see that? Look at all those beautiful highlights. I'm loving it. Okay, and this next color, just to show you, I brought in the rooted and the non-rooted. So I kind of want to just go over those and compare them. Because I know online it could be very difficult to see the same color number and not really know what the SS looks like. So let me just put it up. Now, they're very similar. The root on this one is not as dramatic as some of her other rooted ones. Like if you were to get a blonde um, with an SS, you could definitely see that darker root. But this one, I mean, honestly, they're, they're pretty similar, but I can definitely see that this one is darker on top. Can you guys see that? Let me get a little closer. And you can see that these highlights are all the way to the root. And look at how beautiful that lace is with the mono top. You can see right through it, which gives that illusion of your hair growing out of your scalp. So let's kind of part this a little different, just because you do have that versatility in the monofilament. But let's see how easy it is. So I'm just gonna use my finger and do a middle part Actually really liking the middle part you guys can you see that so if there's a little bit of cold set remember I always say to warm up your hands give it some friction and just kind of train those knots or sometimes what I do is I take my fingers and I just gently maneuver those knots around you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to damage it while we're at it let's just go ahead and look inside the cap Okay, so you have that monofilament top, full monofilament top right there, you guys. That gives you that versatility in styling and that sheer indulgence lace front. Look at how thin you can see right through it. And that is how you have the versatility in styling, just like I showed you. Now, this color, let's just jump right into this color since I have it. This is the RL46 black coffee. You got the dark brown and the lighter brown highlights running through it. This one does not have a dark root, so it's just really natural brown. Something I would definitely choose if you are comfortable with your own hair color, your natural browns, this is the color, you guys. So pretty. Can you guys see that? And she really moves nicely. She's got all these beautiful kind of razor cut layers. Not too many layers, it's still a long wig, but look at that. And that just gives that really fresh look like you stepped outside the salon and paid a lot of money. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to curl a heat-friendly synthetic style. Now, I always recommend using a heat protectant spray just to be on the safe side and always make sure you don't go over 275 to 300 degrees. So here is mine, let's see if you can see that. So it's right at that 300 mark. Let's go ahead and do it, guys. 
All right, I'm gonna start on this side. And you always want your curls to be going away from your face. There we go. Let it hold for a few seconds. I have it kind of tight, just so all those fibers are laying on the barrel curl. All right. And then once you get done, don't burn yourself. I always like to hold my curl in place. That way it can kind of cool. And then once you let it go, there you go, guys. You've got your curl in your true to life, heat friendly synthetic fiber. Let's keep going. All right, release. And I always like to pull my curl straight just so it's not so spiraled. I like it to be a little wavy. You could even comb it out a little bit, but look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. Let's do this side, see what it looks like. Okay, just keep rolling it. Remember, don't get too close to that monofilament top. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and release. Make sure that end gets hot. And then keep your curl intact. Hold it for a few seconds, let it cool. And look at that absolutely gorgeous now if you could imagine all of this was curled maybe i do this piece that just a little longer and there is your curl now if I were to do the whole wig like this I would definitely wear it in the middle but you totally your preference I am really loving it super easy it didn't take long at all it made it feel like it was a part of me you could even put it by your ear but again imagine all of this curled it would be absolutely perfect let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love to hear from you. I love to hear your pros and your cons, what you love about it, what you don't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.